Hi, I'm Nienke and I'm an engineer on the Prebuild team here with Daily. Prebuild is Daily's hosted call component. It's an out of the box video call solution that you can embed into any app with a few lines of code. And it comes with features already built in. Today, I'm going to show you how to set up and manage breakout rooms in a daily pre-built video call. Breakout rooms let participants in a video meeting split off into smaller groups for more focused discussion. It gives users more interaction and engagement for use cases like webinars, events, and large calls. So the first thing you'll need is a daily room that has breakout rooms enabled. And you can enable this feature via the daily dashboard. If you don't have a free daily account yet, you'll need to create one before accessing the dashboard. So you can see I have breakout rooms enabled right here with this very room. You'll need to join this room as an owner. Only a room owner can set up breakout sessions and to join as an owner, you'll need a meeting token. If you're unsure on how to get a token, we have a guide on how to work with them at docs.daily.co. So once you have a room and you've joined as an owner as I have right here, You'll see a button in the control tray. Again, only room owners will be able to see this button. In the call as an owner and the other participants, you see here, these are so-called robots. These are AWS instances we use for internal testing. A good thing to note is that only one host at a time can start a breakout session. This will avoid multiple hosts starting multiple breakout sessions at the same time, which would get pretty confusing fast. So with that aside, the first thing to do is click on a breakout wolf button and in the sidebar, you'll be able to set up the breakout session. I'm going to click the participants join automatically button because I want my robots to join the rooms automatically. They're robots. They can't accept or decline an invitation. So I'm going to need this option. If you're working with human participants, you won't need to select this options unless joining a breakout room is an optional in your use. So I can create as many rooms as I like. I've got six robots, so I'll create two rooms and I'll assign three to each. I can either select the robots individually and assign them to a room, or I can click the assign automatically button, which is right here. This button will randomly assign participants to rooms. So I can either drag or drop participants or I can assign them automatically. So for now, I'll just use this button. So now I'm going to click the start breakout session and one by one, you'll see the robots disappearing from the main room as they're being forced into their two breakout rooms. And in my host overview, I can see who is in which room. I can see right here in the people tab, which robot is in what room. If I'm curious about what the robots are doing in room one, I can click the join button, which I'll do right now. And I can see what my robots are doing. If I want to move participants from one room to the other, I can do that. Just drag and drop them between the available rooms. Like so. If I click apply changes. Robots all will move to a different room. Another cool thing as a host is I can send session wide chat messages. Uh, I'll just join the main room and go to chat. And make sure to send a message to my robots. And if I then go into their room and go to the chat, I'll see my own message, which is pretty cool. And when I'm ready to end the breakout session, I can click the end breakout session button and I can either choose to send the end the session immediately or give my robots a 60 second warning and I'll just end it immediately. So then I can choose to start either a new session or recreate the previous one. If I choose this recreate last breakout session option, the participants will be assigned to the rooms they were in last. So to recap, in this video, I showed you how to set up and manage breakout rooms in a daily pre-built video call. To learn more about breakout rooms, check out our developer documentation at docs.daily.co. And if you have any questions about this video, let us know by posting in the comments. I will follow up with you.